Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 25, and we're continuing our playthrough of uh, Chrono Trigger. Previously, we uh, oh, last week when I did the stream, I was feeling a little, little under the weather, so the last episode was just a little bit of grinding over in the over in the hunting grounds, um, and that was after we had fought our way through the maze to uh, to realize that I was a little too tired to go on to the next step, which is trying to recover the gate key from the reptites. Now. Uh, I will say that uh, things have been a little erratic. I didn't have as much time to grind up as I had originally wanted to. You can see here that I only got Chrono up to level 24, and Robo, Marley, and uh, Luca are over at 23, and Ayla's up to 22. Uh, the tech magic type stuff is um, closer to where I wanted it. Uh, but again, it was one of those things that I... I had a little bit of time Wednesday, not as much as I'd originally planned, and even then the news were not cooperating. Um, there, there was just <laughs> there was a lot of running around in the rain waiting for them to show up, and I don't know what the algorithm is. I know it's a random chance, so every time it rains, it's a percent that he'll show up in location A, a percent that he'll show up in location B, and a percent that, well, he just won't show up. Guess which one I got more often than not. So, there that is. Um, I, and I'll go over a couple other things before we really get into the episode proper, but I wanted to mention that uh, if, the, uh, if, if you're watching the Coffee Craft stuff that we do on Tuesdays and the episodes that used to go out on Mondays except for the last couple of weeks, and if you wonder why this one seems a little, little, little further behind than I'd originally wanted, that's because... This, oh, there we go. This has been my uh, project at the moment. I am in the middle of changing careers from computer programming, uh, working in a corporate training environment to becoming a guitar luthier. I'm taking some repair classes and that's uh, the time that I used to have on Mondays and Fridays to work on content is now taken up with taking classes. And that'll be at least through uh, the first couple of weeks of March. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe not. But uh, so that's that's where that's where some of the time that I used to use to put together this and uh, the coffee craft stuff went. Um, don't worry, I will keep doing these things. All right, now um, while I'm at it, one of the other things I want to bring your attention to, and will the mouse actually? Yes, the mouse cursor will actually show up down here where I got the mouse pointer you'll notice I got a lot of gold. That could have been a lot more. <laughs> That's because of one small mistake on my part. I forgot that because of the vintage of this game, you cap out at 99 petals, 99 fangs, 99, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, the, the four items that you get from fighting beasties in the, in the prehistoric era, uh, they're used to trade for the really good stuff. And the game caps you off at only collecting 99 of them. And if I'd been smarter, I would have gone back to the trader sooner than I did to trade those in and trade them for items that I could turn around and sell for some gold. Notably, Robo's arm and Chrono's sword. Because Chrono uses two of the four items you can collect and Robo uses the other two. So that means for each new that you kill, you can get one sword and one arm. Because he gives you three of each of the four items every time you kill him. That is a nice way to rack up the money. So the next chance I get to do another little grindy session, uh, I'm definitely going to, like, you know, every 15 or so news I kill, I'll go do a trading session and crank up the gold. Because we're going to need some money for a couple of things coming up. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about that when we get there. Possibly possibly going to be the next episode. Because what I, one of the things I don't want to do is I actually want to uh, change up the party just a little bit. Because I get a funny feeling that the Aura Whirl is going to be the better healing option than uh, than the joint option with uh, Robo. Because I don't... I don't 
Yeah, it, it's just the uh, super cyclone spin or supersonic spin and cyclone sweep. Neither one of them is a group heal, and um, I really would much prefer the uh, having a group heal handy. So we're gonna do that right there. We're also gonna back up to the equipment. And I thought about doing this off camera, but I kind of wanted to go through the thought process. Um, right now, I had the Silver Stud, which reduces magic point consumption on Robo. I'm going to swap that out. I'm going to temporarily give him the Silver Earring. So that way I can go back to Chrono and change the Rage Band for the Silver Stud. Because most of the critters that we're going to run into next are lightning, are weak to lightning magic. Um, or lightning magic will reduce their defenses and that kind of stuff. So that means we're going to be cranking through the lightning magic a lot. So I want to get him the, uh, the silver stud. And Robo. Um... Robo, I'm going to give the Rage Band for now. I want somebody that I'm going to use normally. Uh, Luca doesn't really benefit from the Rage Band because her regular attacks aren't so hot. Um, same, same thing with Marley. I'd much rather them have speed buffs or uh, magic buffs. Although, um, not the hit points. Evasion. Uh... Accuracy, strength, no, uh, stamp, no, hammer, no. okay, no, 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 we'll keep her with the scarf. Um, technically, if you're doing the power gaming kind of thing, you really want to give Ayla something other than the power scarf right now, something that would help her, but not that you'd be sad to see because she doesn't join your party permanently just yet. Um, but this is more about the nostalgia than it is about the power gaming, so I'm going to leave the power scarf on her for now. But that was the big one, getting the silver stud. Oh, and you probably saw. Um, once Ayla gets charm, you can get you can charm certain things off of different critters. We're about to make a lot of use of that in the next area coming up. Uh, but one of the other fun things is that the new will let you charm a mop. It is a katana that only chrono can use and it has an attack of one it's glorious it's only worth one gold so no it's not worth farming them uh i charmed one just because for the fun of it <laughs> okay so he's got the silver stud She's got her power scarf. Robo's got the rage band, even though I'm not about to use him. Everybody's got the best weapon I can get for them at the moment, and a stone helm and a ruby vest. I also saved an extra stone helm and ruby vest for Frog when we get him coming up uh, shortly. I may also trade a few more before we get done, too. And, uh, wow, I just realized I ate up half my stuff yammering on about the party, so... Let's uh let's head into the reptite layer and let's see if we can knock him out in 10 15 minutes. All right. Are we ready to go? We're ready to go. Do, 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 do. All right. Now, these guys, I'm actually not going to engage just yet cuz they're going to run to a spot here and there and they're eventually going to start digging holes like that guy there. And what's nice is that those holes are going to lead to various rooms and treasures. So mostly I'm trying to let these guys do their thing without bothering them. Uh, I might be able to sneak around him. Yeah, there's one hole that we definitely, definitely need to uh, leave where that, that's already there. That's kind of the, the main place you go. And we're eventually going to want to charm something off these guys too. Come on, man. Do you think? Is there a place I need to stand? Something that will trigger this to make you guys do your thing quicker? All right, let's go down this first hole. Yeah, see, like that box over there, that's only going to happen when we charm one, when we um, let these guys dig their hole. All right. 
So let's fight them. And what we're going to do first is we're going to try to charm from this guy. And yes, we got a Dreamstone gun. So I'm actually going to cleave him. And I'll have her attack him if he's still alive. Nope, of course not. Because I'm hoping I can charm a second one from this guy. There we go. That way we got one to sell to. That is actually, if I remember right, that is a better gun than what Luca currently has. Oops, I didn't mean to charm him a second time. He's got nothing left to give. That's a waste of magic points is what that is. Oh, no, he's got a feather. Okay. All right. Enough of the games. There we go. XP, tech points, another feather. And another hole. Down on the hole. Dark is my soul. Oh, wait. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's fight this guy here. And if I remember right, there's something we want to charm off of him as well. So we'll stick with the regular attacks for the moment. At least until we know if that charm worked. Yes, a primeval blade. That's going to be Chrono's better thing. Uh, matter of fact, now well, let's go ahead and... Um, Let's hit him with some lightning. Bam. Bam. Shocked. I'm shocked, I tell you. Shocked. There we go. And we got some fangs and other stuff, but right now we're going to come over here. And we're going to swap out the Mammoth Tusk with its attack of 40 for the Primeval Blade with its attack of 70. Actually, it, will it let me... Uh, yes, there we go. So the Ruby Gun with its attack of 40 will bump up to the Dreamstone Gun with its attack of 60. Thank you. And we got to keep an eye on Ayla's Magic Points too. I think these guys had something that you could charm off of them, too. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll hit the charm. Then an attack and a regular attack. Oh, Magma Hand. There we go. All right. Actually, if that's going to work, then I'm going to try to charm more than one out of these guys. Just because that is... Uh, that, oh, never mind. I guess I'm not. So you know what I'm going to do? Lightning. <laughs> Come on, guys. Ride the lightning. No, I'm not going to sing it. I don't want another takedown. Well, I didn't have a takedown yet, but uh, oh, I am more than marginally paranoid about that. All right. So let's go ahead and go to Robo. So stone arm. The highest thing I could buy right now with an attack of 40. I can now swap out for a Magma Hand, which has an attack of 70. Sweet. All right. Um, let's go ahead and charm out of this guy. And we'll go... We'll just go Lightning 1. Prime you. All right. Yeah. Bam. Drop him. Kill him. And then we'll have her charm this guy. And hopefully we can get something out of that. There we go. Another magma hand. Beautiful. So now we don't need you guys anymore. Let's uh, knock you out post haste. I seem to remember that charm being less effective than it seems to be. Or maybe that's just... Uh, Maybe that's just because I'm live. That's what I should have done. <laughs> a special stream of grinding live. Ooh, hi, Ether. All right. And is that the only other? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh-oh. Here we go again. So we'll have her charm him since he's going to die quicker. We'll do a quick or whirl that should top everybody off.
There we go. And we'll have her charm him because I don't... I didn't even pay attention if she actually got it. But at this point, we're just fishing for the same items until we reach uh, the next couple of guys. That's lowered by electric shock. Alright. Doesn't look lowered. This should do it. Bam! XP, tech points, pedals, fangs. And a stone helm. <laughs> Another one. Alright, so far so good. Oh, and I think the monkey boy over here had something that I wanted to... Charm. What you got? A ruby vest. Eh, not what I wanted, but okay. Maybe it was the mushroom. This was probably a mistake. I might not might be killing off the mushroom prematurely. Yep. Okay. Oh, good to know that that's where I can get some more ruby vests. And petals and fangs and things. Okay, that's it for down here. So, oh, okay, good. I'll get a chance to charm, charm a mushroom. <laughs> charm that mushroom. Please work. Oh, okay. They don't have anything worth it. Okay. Oh, and she's down to two magic points. Have to do something about that real quick. Of course, I think I forgot to... Um... Yeah, I think I forgot to rest before... Uh... Or use a shelter before we started the shindig. So that might be something that I have to... Uh... Alright. That's where I came in. That is another entrance, and... Oh! I didn't mean to trigger you guys, but okay. Let's, um... Let's hit you guys with the lightning. I kind of wish uh, Marley had a area attack, a solo area attack. I do plan on using her Ice Sword as well as her heal, but that'll be uh, for later if we get to it. Shocked, I tell you. There we go. Alright, some XP, pedals, fangs, tech points. Oh, beautiful. Couldn't ask for a better spot. Alright, so let's go to inventory. Use shelter. Bam! Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I also wanted to save. Alright, um... And up this way is... Here, let's give it a try. Now, well, uh, you know what? Let's just try to beat him with the regular attacks and see if it does it quick enough. Yeah, there we go. Because he just had the ruby vests, and I, I get better ways of getting those than wasting magic points here. Uh, although, she, of course, she just levels up now. Down the hole. There we go. So this is where we're back. We went into that top one. Kind of hoping these guys will hurry up and get about their business. There we go. Here comes the next guy. Let's head down this hole. And yeah, let's go ahead and charm something off of him. And let these guys ride the lightning. Bam. Done. Done. Sweet. 
All right, four tech points, feathers, and all sorts of other fun. Down the hole. Let's go ahead and burn another charm on this guy here. Another primeval blade. Or as I like to think of it, money in the bank. There we go. Shocked. There we go. Oof. Maybe I should be giving Ayla the uh, reduced magic point usage for the moment. Because <laughs> I, I do seem to be cranking out the charm. Well... I don't know that anybody's really ever accused me of cranking out the charm, but uh, is this the same one we were in? This feels like the same one we were in. All right. I know these guys have magma hands, but uh, I need this to be over quick. So let's make this over quick. So are they uh, thunderstruck? Oh, no. I worked too hard to be uh, self-amusing. That box is going to be empty, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to keep wasting charms. I should, but I'm keeping an eye on the magic points there, and I'm not sure it's going to be worth it. There we go. Chrono's level increased. Yeah, this is why this is why I wanted to make sure that I was at or below a certain level before uh, before entering in here because I knew I was going to manage at least a couple more levels, and uh, I wanted to make sure that I still get back to the end of time uh, with level twenty as close to level twenty nine without being over. Is uh, I do want to try out Speakio, Sepico, Spick, that guy, and uh, make sure that I get a chance to get his next form before we go too too much further. All right, um, let's burn a little bit of Marley's magic. She's got enough to get a spare. Uh, let's hit that great ape with some ice. Bam! Well, now that I think about it, I think that ice too is an area attack. I'll have to double check that again. I mean, it'd be kind of funny if I was grousing about not having a uh, <laughs> an area attack, and here I was sitting with it all along. Yikes! All right. Um... Come on, Marley. Get in the game. Ice sword. Freeze him. Kachunk. Gone. Finish it quick. Alright, um. Actually, you know what? I don't need. Let's use the aura. That should be enough to bring everybody back up to full health. There we go. I do want to make sure that everybody is at or near full health. So that's two of them. So we got that top one. We we got the one that appears to have disappeared. Or did they all disappear? Yeah, they've all disappeared. Huh. Um, well, shoot. I gotta figure out who's... I think that's the one we just did. We did that top one. I think we missed that one there. Alright, let's get these guys here. 
Because I know there's a critter in here somewhere that has Marley's be next best weapon. And maybe it's that plant guy. So let's charm him. Missed it. I don't know if that succeeded. Uh, probably about to be a... Uh... Nope. Oh, okay. Nope. Yep. Nope. Too late. Alright, I'll have to check. Uh, equipment. Ah, uh, I didn't get it. Alright. But I got a mid ether. Alright, here's another chance to get the plant. Alright, combo, charm, plant. And yeah, Dreamstone Bow. Beautiful. Done. Done. Let's blow this joint. No, oh, I wish I had known that we did that. I don't remember seeing that anywhere. <laughs> I totally forgot it was a thing. All right. Nice. More tech points, feathers, petals, and other stuff. Oh my. So that means we got Chrono's top sword. Ayla's got her fists no matter what that. Levels up as she levels up. Marley now moves from the Shaman's Bow, formerly of a different name, uh, with an attack of 40 to the Dreamstone Bow, which now brings an attack of 60. And Luca's got her Dreamstone Gun, the Magma Hand, and we've got some Prime Evil Blades. Nice. Okay. Everybody's about as decked out as we're going to get them. We've uh, hit up most of the boxes. So let us see how well we can manage. Ah, oh, okay, fine. I was hoping to sneak out of there real quick, but uh, you know what? Let's just make this quick. Oh, okay, that works. Ah, fine. Come here, my little XP minions. I'll make it quick, I promise. Gone. Done. Poof. 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 Okay. Oh, that's right. These guys... Can I thread the needle? Nope. Not quite. Alright, let's do that. I want to get to that save point real quick. Toss him! Toss the monkey! I'll get you, my pretty. Oh wait, wrong monkey. Okay. So we're going to come here, we're going to go to our inventory, we're going to use up another shelter. That's okay, I know where to get a bunch for free. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to save. And this is where I'm going to say, in the very suspenseful ending, Thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream on Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live, and definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out, and you get notified when new episodes and other content get posted. So live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow.